You're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Today is February 10th, 2019. It's midnight right now, and this is episode number 64. My name is Jose Rodan. I'm Frank Berna. And you're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Hey, <sighs> And you're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast where you hear all your geek news all week, every week. Very good. You did that perfect. Okay. I do everything perfect. Mm. It's, it's been a week. It's been a week. Since Resident Evil 2, it's been great. How many times have you passed it now? I just passed uh, Playthrough B with Claire, and I just started Playthrough B, Playthrough 1 with Claire. With Claire, you got A? With Claire, I got A. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it me, or did Claire have like more zombies on B side? Or maybe it's just Leon, I don't know. I don't know. Claire sucks. That's what I know. Claire's the worst. Claire's gun sucks in B side, but on A side, she's got a regular gun. No, and but she also her gets kind of. You she, know what sucks about her gun in B side? Are we talking about it, the revolver? Yeah, we. But the thing is, is that's the only ammo they give. They pump you full of that revolver ammo, and they don't give you any regular ammo whatsoever. And, and, God, and you know, it was there's horrible. no revolver in A side. No, I know. Is that crazy well, though? I, they just Leon put that gets, shit for no reason. Leon gets a special handgun. He gets like a forty-five. Yeah, but it's, his it's still does you know. It's not like great until you get the attachment. When you get the attachment, it's it's like the Magnum. So, but it's using regular ammo. Uh right? no, you still gotta use the Magnum bullets and stuff like that. But oh, that sucks. But it's just an attachment to it. But yeah, Claire I don't know how Claire B, I don't remember, but Leon side B is infested with zombies. I mean, I could be wrong, but if I have to give an advice to everybody is do not go to the third floor and try to go through the uh, laundry side, I think it is, or there was like a laundry room. Do not go through that hallway that takes you to the uh, to the top side of the library. Do not go through that third floor because that's when Mr. X shows up. And you want Mr. X to show up when oh, you're no, trying to you go, go through the helicopter. That's when you want him to show up. When Mr. X shows up in the helicopter, your life is going to be a lot easier because it's gonna, he's going to show up on the further end of the game. If you go through the hallway going towards the library second floor, which is upstairs on the third floor... You will trigger Mr. X sooner than you have to. And trust me, with him running around that early in the game, the game becomes really tough. Because there's there's more zombies. So to have to run from this douchebag and then have to deal with fucking well, zombies is also a pain you, in the ass. What? If you go through the stars, the second you unlock the stars area, you get them. He's that's just his thing, man. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, He's but if you avoid, if you avoid, yeah, he is a pain in the ass. If you avoid that for now and make it somehow to the uh, area where you trigger him when you're trying to get to the helicopter and he moves the helicopter, it'll be a lot easier because by then you've killed all the zombies, so it's easier to run away from him. But the reception room, I think it is, where it's on downstairs near where Marvin is. Going through there and then going through the hallway there, getting to the weapons room. That's full of zombies and a liquor because you get a liquor real fast in the game. I mean, this is Lee on side B. I don't remember Claire's side B being so tough. I might be wrong, but it's ridiculous. Yeah. um, I will say. Go ahead. 
they they missed a golden opportunity with the game though um i personally think that claire's game should have been or the b side of the game should have been more involved in the city i guess they could have done that but i mean it wasn't in the original but it just the fact that you redo all the same puzzles that was done a side that's really stupid. And that's where I think they missed the opportunity. Not the opportunity of having to go to the city, but more of the fact that Claire's side but, should have been, or not even Claire's side, B's side should be harder, more infested with zombies, but the puzzles are solved because Leon solved them. Right. Or Claire solved them. Or Claire them. solved them. And so it, it would have been tougher to maneuver around and Mr. X should be there right in the beginning because it takes place a little bit after Leon or Claire. That way, it, it makes sense. Now, don't get me wrong, there were puzzles that side B has that's not in side A, which never really, that I think of, I don't think it really affected side A. I just remember the big thing for me was Leon had to do one kind of puzzle with like the chess pieces and Claire had to do a different puzzle. I remember I that do, too. I remember that. They I put can't all remember those puzzle though. pieces. They put all those puzzle pieces in it again. Um but goddamn, Claire sucks, man. It's, and I've like I've seen so many strategy guys where everyone's like, you should use Claire because her grenade launcher is so much better and B side, blah 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 blah. Dude, cause her guns are shit. Fighting, um, I personally like clear better on side A. But fighting then, fighting homeboy, uh huh. Who who the fuck is it? Fighting uh, Birkin. Yeah. Holy shit, dude, he sucks so badly. Because like her guns suck, and you got to shoot all of his little eyeball things. Oh, this is a yeah. nightmare. You no, know, I know. I died more. I died more with Claire than I did with Leon. Did I really? I died a lot with Leon. The other thing I don't like about Leon that I think you do like is the the side shooting. <laughs> I I guess they're trying to keep it into the aspect of the oh, original I Resident I Evil. Gotten, I haven't gotten the B side yet. But I mean, it's just like eh. he he does the gangster shoot like he the did the first shoot, one. Gangster shoot, yeah. He does. Does said, it have his? Does it have the alternate outfit? Because he had like a tank top with an RPD hat. No, does it that, have that? That's or only no? if you found. Uh, what the hell was his name? The original guy under the bridge. If you is if he, he in it? He's actually in the same spot under the bridge, but he's not a zombie. If you go into the room, you'll see a picture of him in a poster, uh-huh. like like telling you to re- recruit you for stars. So it's just him and his yellow vest, and he's in the poster. And then, of course, underneath him is the key that opens up the locker where you can change into uh, Leon's police outfit. And this is side B and with Leon. It's only for it's only for Leon. It's not for Claire. No, Claire doesn't change. I think Claire gets uh, the revolver. The revolver. But if you it, the poster's right there with him on it, so I think it was a cool cameo. But I mean, I would have liked it to to actually see him as a zombie. And did I, you know that the that the Rebecca photo exists? Yes, the Rebecca photo does exist. And there was another Easter egg that they found where a something that had to do with Jill. Fuck, I don't remember, but it it showed signs that there might be a Resident Evil three in the remake. Yeah. Is it a DLC? Nope. Uh, I don't think so. It'll probably be the full-blown game, which is fine with me, bro. If in 2021 you're going to give me another Resident Evil or 2022, that's, that's that fine. good? Shit, yeah. If, Shit, it, if yeah. it's that good, yeah, of course. And I like Jill. Jill's probably my second favorite out of all the Resident Evil. You know, the uh, entire white cast. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just realized that the other day I was talking to someone. It's like, hey, you know what? Every single main character of all the Resident Evils was white. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Not a single different race. That's funny. Yeah, the only one was Carlos, but Carlos, was he playable? Yeah, he was playable for a little bit. But he was like over the top Hispanic, like from Colombia or something. I don't remember. He was a bit, bro, 98. Is when Resident Evil 3 came out? No. 99 to 2000. So that was like 1920. But I did like the fact that Jill could dodge. At the right moment, if you pushed it, she could dodge. Yeah, no, I remember that. So, I mean, if they can add that, that would be just fantastic. Because I am so sick of these zombies where you try to take a right and you'll flip and catch you. Bro, there's been time where I run through a door and there's a zombie like literally right in front of the door. And if I've jumped big time. I mean, it, the game is just fucking great. They, do you know that there's also a, a, an area where there's boarded windows and you pass by it and the and the hands come out to get you? Like in the old one. Like the old one? Oh, man. All you have to do is wait for... Where was it? I think it's the one that connects to the... There's a hallway that connects to some stairs that take you to the sewers. Oh, no, to the parking garage. And those are boarded up. If you go through them, close to them when they're zombies, they they pull out their hands through there. They don't grab you like the original one. But, uh, fuck. So good. Uh, Did you play anything else? At all? Other than what uh, we'll, we'll talk about later? Persona 5, of course. You play some more Persona 5? Yep. I'm officially at 65 hours in that game. God damn. Still haven't beaten it. I have to get it's back. It's so long. Of course. But that's good. You get your money's worth, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I might be tempted at just getting it again for the Switch. I mean, when it comes out, uh, yeah, because you could travel around with it. Because that's the that's the big rumor that it is it's going to do that. Um, what else did I play? I feel like I played something else. I played um, two more games other than Resident Evil. So good. I mean, one is the beta for Tom Clancy's Division Two. Where we can talk about that later, and the other one was Apex. So I mean, you didn't play Apex, Apex at all. I do? tried it. You I, tried it. That's good. It, yeah, I didn't like it. It's I, I, it, I tweeted out the perfect thing uh, this evening. My buddy, our buddy, George, sent us uh, this, this picture of this little girl reading a book. And it says, and on top of it, it says, game developers. And... On the, te- on the teacher, you mean? Yep, and the little girl's reading the book, and it says, me, story mode. And it says, enjoying the game. And then at the bottom, it's the teacher yanking the child outside. And outside, it says, battle royale multiplayer. And you'll have more fun with your friends. And it's like, no, I really won't, because I hate multiplayer and story mode. I think it's shit. It really is. I mean, you you hate Battle Royale, but you don't hate multiplayer because you love games like like Division. Yeah, but I mean, even still, I could play Division by myself. I, I've been playing Division by myself, and I enjoyed it a lot more. Just, I, I, I'm like that hero who's, who thinks, if you come with me, then I have two people to worry about. Yeah. But um, no, I I played Apex and it's listen what they did there. First of all, congratulations to uh, to respawn for keeping it tight lid. Nobody knew about this. It was like a big secret. Um, and I played it and it's just like I'm I'm just I guess I'm just too old. It's too fast paced for me. I can't keep up. Um, 
basically, if you guys don't know, the Apex is a new free-to-play game that just came out from Respawn, which was the creators of Titanfall 1 and 2, which are also the guys who created Call of Duty. Which one? 1 and 2. 1 and 2, Modern Warfare? Yep. Yeah, so... Uh, In my opinion, the best Modern Warfare. They were the best ones, yes. I agree 100%. And uh, basically, Respawn decided to go with this... Uh, they will not do another Titanfall. Now, when they said that, and now all of a sudden they say that they are working on future titles for Titanfall, but right now, we are to assume that they are not because they're putting their focus on this. I know they're trying to compete with Fortnite. The free-to-play basis is basically just another business plan that people are trying to work with because it works for Fortnite. And fuck it, if they were trying to make money, Fortnite's made $2 billion, why are they not going to try the same thing? Is it Respawn's idea? I don't think so. Is it EA's idea? Uh, Yeah, I think so. But at the end of the day, everybody wants to get paid. I played it, uh, I played uh, maybe two or three matches. Uh, One of the things that I don't like is that in PUBG, hell, even Fortnite, is you can play by yourself. So, <laughs> it's just me I'd rather just play by myself I mean I'm fighting other people but I'd rather be by myself this one forces you to play with two other players which could mean two things you either have a really good player or you have crybabies or you could play with a really bad player and then you'll be the crybaby so I mean it's I mean it's I, I guess it's a game that if you have a two buddies to play then you can play like I'll play with Dylan on PC but it's super fast paced. It's, it's, it's just like Titanfall. Uh, you have except the guns are shit. D- you're so the inaccurate. only. You're the only person who said that. You you're like, like gotta be I the only guy. human being who said that. Everybody loves the guns in Apex. They say well, it's that, very I mean, similar to Titanfall. Well, well they they are similar to Titanfall. They're just they just don't hit anybody like Titanfall. That's the problem. <laughs> that's that's my. I mean, you put that next to Titanfall and you'll see what I'm talking about, that those guns are inaccurate. Dude, I played the shit out of Titanfall 2. I love Titanfall 2. Okay. I miss Titanfall 2. But I still think that the guns are awesome. Maybe they're inaccurate to you. Oh, but- no, they're, no, no, they're great guns. Dude, I love the guns in Titanfall. I, I always thought the guns in Titanfall were really well done. But like I said, if you haven't played Titanfall and then you played this, you're like, oh, yeah, these guns are great. Well, maybe this is for people who've going from cartoon world of, of Fortnite right, and jumping that's... into this. Then it's I mean, it makes sense for people to leave Fortnite to play this game because this is the game that gives them everything that Fortnite was giving to them. But it looks better a thousand times better. And it's the same business model. You get it for free and then you pay to add stupid shit on it. Stupid skins, stupid gun skins. I guess they're planning to add emotes. Is there emotes in this game? I don't know. I heard there's emotes and dancing and all this other bullshit, but... I don't don't care. (laughs) I mean, right now it's hit a milestone. 10 million people in three days is... It's it's pretty huge. I mean, it... But it's free, of course. We've been talking about that. That that's that's really where it comes down to. It's free, of course, so. and it's free for everything too. I did it come out for Switch? Because I keep hearing it came out for everything. I mean, <laughs> people like free, bro. But this time, at least this free game has some actual looks to it. But I mean, it's it's not that. You you know we talked about this. I don't like the free to play. I mean, it's perfect for people, but it's this. Is it good for the video game industry? No. Is it exactly? No. It's not. It's it's basically designed to make money for one company. It isn't really evolving the video game industry. In in my opinion, I'm sure. It's regressing. I'm it. sure exactly. I'm sure Stubach. Will disagree, but it's just like 
now people are trying to do the same thing and then this is what we're stuck at and and it's affecting other video game companies it is and people are just playing it's this free shit and then nobody's buying the the premium stuff and they're not no nobody can sit here and say that games are selling as well as they did before because everybody's going for the free shit and instead of investing money for a $60 game they're spending $60 on dances <laughs> In costumes, like, like that's <laughs> it, it. It goes to the fact that people are stupid, man. Like uh, that's, uh, I, and I agree with you. And these companies are all about pleasing the masses, the masses. And um, yeah, is it affecting video game industry? Absolutely, it is. And people are like, oh no, but it's for the good because it makes other companies to come up with another business plan in order to, to be as profitable as Fortnite. No, that's not what they're doing. They are doing the exact same thing. And if you do not see this, then you probably like Fortnite <laughs> because how could you not see that that's, that's all that's happening here is it's just another battle royale. You're They're not coming up with a new idea. They're just tweaking that one idea Hence, Fortnite did the same thing for PUBG when PUBG was the phenomena. Now Apex is is there, and then it's only a matter of time before Ubisoft does it. And fucking Capcom. I really hope Capcom doesn't do it. In fact, I hope not a single Japanese company does it. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that no Japanese company just bends to the doing the free-to-play shit. But this is where we're at. Is it going to stop? I think so. We were talking about that on the text the other day. I really do think that the Battle Royale is a bubble and it's about to burst. I'm serious. I really do believe that any day now, this bubble is going to burst and people are going to be like, I don't want to play Battle Royale. Yeah. Well. I mean, and it's going to happen. He said nothing is popular forever. Minecraft, more MMORs, it's just... There's a specific time when people just move on to the next big yeah. thing. But the one thing that never changes is the single player adventure. That never changes. That's something that people want and it's always been around since the 80s. That's what people want. That's the, the story they want to know and the one where they want to use to escape. Yes, these, uh, these battle royales are to be with your friends, but at the end of the day, if you want to escape reality and enjoy yourself on a good movie type of game, then the first players is the way to go. And I, and this is where the Japanese market has more games like that. I mean, other than gorillas, they 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 focus on the on the single player. But most of the other companies are usually Japanese. Uh, of course, don't forget um, Naughty Dog too. And, and yeah, but even Naughty Dog makes uh, the multiplayer nonsense. Yeah, but I mean, I really hope I'm wrong here, but I doubt, I truly doubt that the next Naughty Dog is going to be a free-to-play game, just multiplayer. I hope I'm wrong. I mean, they, they could prove me wrong where they can get on Twitter and say our next Uncharted game and people are going to flip their shit and when they look, it's just a free-to-game multiplayer battle royale for the PlayStation. So then everybody's going to be pissed. There's going to be riots. We'll see. 2019 is still young. Yeah, no, we we, we really don't know anything that's coming out. Man. No, not anymore, really apparently, don't. because, you know, it was a really well, well-held well secret. And in this day and age, for something not to leak. Anyway, uh, did you play anything else? I'm thinking, but I want to say no. Like, I can't put my finger on anything else that I might have played. Are you excited for anything that's coming out? Um, um what did is we coming? talk about Anthem? No, or we no? didn't. We didn't. We should talk about that. You, you've you played it. so That pile of hot garbage. Hot garbage. Hot garbage. So just give me an aspect of why you think it's it's hot garbage. Were you, were um, you wait, first of all, were you able to play it? Yes. No problems. No pro well, yes, but I mean the problems are the game. 
<laughs> That's actually good. I mean, I it, mean did it load? Did the, en- did it have enemies it? would appear out of thin air. Enemies would disappear when I'm killing them, and I don't know if I killed them or not. Um, it's bad. <laughs> like, I I I say this. And when I say this, it's not an insult to what I'm about to say. <laughs> it has worse graphics than Warframe. Is it really that bad? It is that bad. It has worse graphics than Warframe. Um, and as I'm playing it, I'm just looking at this. And it, that entire E3 demo that they showed back in 2017 is a fucking lie. I've never seen some... like. Don't She's say you blat- never seen. Kill Zone was like that. Blatantly, well, no, they they said they said that Kill Zone wasn't CG, and then they came back and said that it was CG. You know that was that was something that they redacted later. This thing, then there's is hot garbage. There's Watchdogs and, too, <laughs> and it just it was so bad. So it's like an and empty shell, like, you said? It is. And then, like, you're shooting enemies, but it doesn't look like you're shooting enemies. They just kind of stand there. They don't react to your bullets. Oh, no. At all. So bullet sponging. But no, even, even goddamn Division One, if you shot somebody with, like, a sniper rifle, they would, like, oh, and then they'd go back to shooting. These things don't react at all. And <laughs> at all, at all. I mean, I, you know, I played the. It is so bland. I. It's... How about them loading screens? Holy shit! I'm flying, and then I go like underneath some kind of cliff, and then out of nowhere, it goes into a loading screen. That's bad. And then when it cuts back, I'm walking on the ground, and I'm somewhere that's not even remotely close, like. It just randomly loads. It is so bad. And that's terrible because I, that takes away from the open world. I I couldn't. And then, I don't know, the puzzles in the game were stupid as hell. You ha- They automatically sync and pair you up with other people. You just can't free fly by yourself. You need people to complete the puzzles. But if people aren't mic'd up or nobody knows what they're doing, they don't know that they everybody has to hit like their own little cube. Oh boy, that's Jesus. It's so They should have done and, that. Puzzles with other people and, is just not something they should do. And then and then walking around in that city, it's so hideous. And it is so PlayStation 3. <laughs> You know, and, and the funny thing is, that it doesn't look like what I played originally on the the other beta. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like it. I don't. Know, they took a step back and and changed well, it completely. Or it, just, or it could just be that you're on PC. No, or did you get no, the demo? No, because I oh, you I, the- I played the demo and it was it didn't look the same. Definitely, the people didn't look the same. Yeah, and and what I don't like is just people standing around. And and you can't interact with them, so they're just standing around in the city. It's like they're ghosts or something. I don't know what's wrong with. It. I mean, it doesn't feel alive at all. At all, God, it's a damn shame because it's Bioware, and I feel like if this shit goes bad, then we're not gonna get a Dragon Age, even though it's being made right now. Well, that's also one of the reasons why the CEO left, man. Because if I don't get a Dragon Age because of Anthem, then and he's like, I, he's like, he's like, I have faith that what they're gonna do, blah 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 blah. And I'm like, wait, like he had faith that shit. they're gonna do something good? Something. Yeah. And he left. Yeah, he left. You know, he left. No, but he left, and then he said, "I got faith that they're gonna do good." Yeah. This just doesn't make any sense. You left. You're basically saying that they're. Not worth staying for. I I I really hope that 
like Dragon Age, they better make a single player. I really don't want to play with other people. I God help me if they ruin Dragon Age because Dragon Age is awesome by yourself. To be able to control that many characters at the same time by yourself proves that you do not need your friends to play a game like that. So we will see. <laughs> so you're saying that I we should skip this game altogether? Not even a rental? Like just one you know, just to play? I mean, I'll I'll if if I will rent it if the reviews say, Oh, it's not that bad. But I also, but I mean, I also the, the, feel this, like this, this is isn't the, something like I wouldn't be able to trust an IGN or a game no. spot because I yeah where the I money flows so, <laughs> right. Um, however, I will trust like a uh, Kotaku, a Kotaku. But even even this is where I go for the Metacritic just to see what everybody yeah because Meta- Metacritic will give an overall synopsis of everybody. I agree one hundred percent. I I'm I I just don't trust IGN in this situation or GameStop or I mean GameSpot. I don't even trust Game Informer to believe that what the, the review. But I mean, we'll see. <laughs> it's kind of harsh for us to judge on a demo. I mean, it maybe is, the, maybe the full game will be better. But I'm not putting a it, dollar, bro. I'm not putting a dollar on the game. It is. It is hard to judge a game, but when you're this close to launch and that's what you want to show your people, <laughs> holy fuck. You are and you're either really brave or really <laughs> fucking stupid. Uh, okay, so so you played that. Uh the last thing that I played was Kingdom Hearts 3. I went back and I started playing and I did I finally finished the world of Hercules, and um, here here's my gripe with fucking Kingdom Hearts three. First of all, it's my mentality is not the same that it was two, 13, 12 years ago. I don't even remember when it came out. I think it was two thousand PlayStation two two thousand five. I think it was PlayStation two PlayStation two two thousand five. Maybe 2004. Either way, my mentality is not the same. So, when you make a game where your fans, where you stop, and your fans were a certain age, <laughs> they, they're going to grow. They're not going to stay stuck in time for Kingdom Hearts. And the fact that I was playing this game and I, I just thought, it's, it's just not the same. It's not, it doesn't, feel the same but I'll have to I I have to say though it's a beautiful game it's really good looking it runs a full 60 frames on the PlayStation Pro to be able to remember what that looked like in from PlayStation 2 it's a it's it's like a it's mind-boggling to see the 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 difference uh especially when it's the same game I don't know if you don't understand what I mean like they it's not like Resident Evil 2 where it was remade. It's the same fucking game. Think of it as a Resident Evil 1 remake. So it's like, it's okay. just, it looks prettier, but it's the same. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, for the people who are fans of Kingdom Hearts 3, you're going to get what you want. It's going to be satisfying. You're going to get the story. You're going to finish Sora's thing. But, I mean... Don't expect too much. I mean, the the. Other than that, that's my criticism right there. It's just it's more the same, and if you outgrew it, you're not going to be able to grab that that feeling again. But it plays well. It's very uh, it's sixty frames. It's great graphics. It's the controls are smooth and awesome. I don't have a problem with the camera. Some people hate the camera. I don't have a problem with the camera. It's a great RPG. You know, there's a lot to do in there to to play with your characters and and teach them new stuff and add new equipment and get the new keyblades and all the hidden shit. You know, it's it's still the essence of Final Fantasy in there. But I I I feel like it lost its magic. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset for me saying that, but I mean to me if it's it, you took too long. By this rate I should have gotten a Kingdom Hearts 4. 
by this time. If you, I mean, and I, and, and they would keep me going. You see what I mean? If you give me three and three years and you give me four, then I'd be okay. I, that's just my opinion. I don't know. It's even, it's, it's a kid's game. It's not like if you get a Parasite Eve 20 years later, you know? Ugh, don't do that to me. I'm just saying, it's, those are games that can grow and the audience wait and then they grew up, but they still remember Parasite Eve. But yeah. but if you do a game like I'm trying to think, I, I like Jack and Dexter. I, I don't if if you came up with a Jack and Dexter now, I don't think it's it'll be the same. I think that people have outgrown that. In my opinion. And and there's no way that Naughty Dog could do something where where it plays the same. Don't get me wrong. If it's a full blown remake, it's a different story. But if you did Jack and Dexter exactly the same, but with better graphics, I don't think it would do better. Banjo Kazooie. Oh, that's a good example right there. You know the creators of Banjo Kazooie? They did a. Uh, Didn't they do uh, yeah, it, like something like Banjo Kazooie? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, ukulele. I yeah. Hope- that that was a perfect example. It's the exact same thing as Banjo Kazooie, and people played it and they just they outgrew it. They outgrew it. It was the same thing, way prettier game, but it was the same. It played the same. The cameras were just as shitty as it was in Nintendo sixty four. So I mean, people didn't like it. That I mean, that's just how it is. Plain and simple. Then, like for all my Kingdom Hearts fans, people, please do not, do not take this. Like, don't play the game. I mean, if you can rent it first and see if this is where you want to invest, because it's a long game. There is a lot to do in this game. There is a lot of hidden stuff. You could you could easily put maybe 30, 40 hours in this game and still have fun. But I would recommend the rental first and see. If the magic is still there. I think that's fair enough. See if, if the magic is still there for you. And if it's still there, then go ahead and buy it. Uh, and that's about it. That's what I'm going to say about Kingdom Hearts. Bro, let's just get to the news. News. <laughs> you know what's so funny is that... Everything that I was going to say is already been talked about the gaming. Like, I was going to say Kingdom Hearts 3 sold 5 million copies already. It is the... the and this is the thing. I got this from, from Square is that they, they, they put that in the title. It sold 5 million copies. It is the greatest selling game. And I'm like, wow. Are they going to say it's a... You know, because my brain's ready to read. It is the greatest selling game for Square Enix. But then it says it's the greatest selling game in its franchise. I was like, there's like five games. <laughs> so maybe six. And those, if it's six, three of them was for Nintendo DS or four. So of course it's going to be the greatest selling game. But I mean, congratulations, Squares. Uh, I mean, if it's making money, that's great for you. And that I'm happy for because I like Square. You know, as long as they're making money, I'm good because I might get another uh, Tomb Raider, which Tomb Raider didn't do good. And the numbers are down for Square. So we will see where that's going. EA also came out with the numbers and the numbers are not looking that hot either. Battlefield 1 was like a... Battlefield 1? No, that's not what it's called. Battlefield... What the fuck? Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5? Yeah, yeah. That, that wasn't selling as well either. And they're not doing good with getting rid of the Star Wars game and Battlefront. It was it was an overall bad year for EA. And just don't... Good. There's, there's <laughs> nothing you can... Good. And you know what's funny is like you think you can sit there and explain what happened with your shares. I mean, just suck it up and say it was a bad year. I mean, tell the truth. You know, I mean, it could it could get better. It could get better. But don't sit there and and blame it on Fortnite, because most of the shit is done by you guys. 
Um, I mean, that's, that goes back to this idea of do better, you know? You you go and you ruin games. You ruin games like uh, Need for Speed and Star Wars by doing all this loot crate bullshit. I heard the Need, you, need for Speed might be mobile. You, um... <laughs> oh, my God. You do that kind of bullshit. You, um... Fuck, I had it and I lost it. Sorry. Uh, you, you, you closed down Visceral that made one of the better, uh, video games in, what the fuck was it called? I can't remember the goddamn name of it now. In, Dead uh, Space? Dead Space. You canceled your Star Wars first person single player story mode because it didn't have the monetary things that you wanted it to have like fuck you guys you deserve everything that you get trying to feed into this bullshit and 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 they and that's what they should have done is admit to what's going on i think it's better if the if you're honest and you try to figure out what to do because i'll be honest i don't understand why disney insists on dealing with these bozos Disney should take a nice sniff of what's going on EA and move on to something better. Am I wrong? I mean, Disney has a good relationship with Square. Maybe they should do a. a but Square a, a, doesn't. Square doesn't do. Um. Square doesn't do those style of games well. What do you? I mean, like they, what, they, they they did Tomb Raider. They can figure it out. It doesn't have to be Square, the Japanese one. Isn't there a square in 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 Montreal? Uh, I might be wrong. I don't know. There's plenty of different. If I if I was Square, I would try to. I mean, if I was Disney, I would try to get to with Ubisoft. I feel like Ubisoft would be their better U- direction. Ubisoft would be a great direction for a Star Wars game. Or, oh my God, there's just so many game companies they can go to. Stay away out of EA and just. Even uh, even Capcom could probably do something with Star Wars. Amazing. And talking about bad companies, then I have to read about the Blizzard and Activision. The Blizzard and Activision has now... This, uh, this came up news that the Activision Blizzard expected to delay off hundreds on Tuesday. This would be Sunday, Monday, in two days. What about? Can you imagine working for Blizzard right now? You have the whole weekend to think, "Am I going to have a job?" And to top it off, you have to come in on Monday, which is the worst day of the week, and sit there and think, "Am I going to have a job tomorrow?" Um, for what they are saying, it's not going to be anybody like from the gaming part of the business. It's going to be just like. Uh, what was it? Customer service. I read it here somewhere. Customer service, marketing, yada, 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 whatever. I mean, if that's what you want to believe, that's fine. But yeah, here, no, here that's- we talked about this in text for a while. And it's it sucks because of Blizzard. I still believe can they break the contract with first of all can they break the contract with Activision does Activision own Blizzard I don't know I don't know what the contract I, is I don't believe that they're owned they're kind of the same way that Bungie was it's just like they give you money for marketing and all the other shit but I don't think yeah uh, yeah I'm sorry Activision has like full blown power over Blizzard I don't think so. I might be wrong. But they need to come up with something. Blizzard really needs to come up with something new. And I don't really think a new Diablo for PC would be it, to be honest. But in my opinion, dude, they they never really made anything quote unquote new. That's what they did with if you I look- mean they did Overwatch, they did Heroes of Storm, they did uh I mean what's the card game? I forgot the card. Yeah. But when you look at when you look at what Blizzard has done in the past, when you look at what they've done in the past, dude, they they release games like once in a blue moon, man. They they're not a company that releases a new game every other year. Which but is true. When I... they re- but when they release a game, that fucker sells. 
But we're in an era now where people don't want to play Blizzard games the way they were doing it. So they need to adapt and change them. Now, I'm not saying make a fucking battle royale, but you need to come up with something now a lot faster. And not I'm not saying fast like in a year or two, but they need to come up with something to catch people's attention. They had the opportunity to do a Diablo for PC and they decided to go mobile. Which is so fucking stupid. I, I don't I don't think I don't think that that was their decision. But, I think that was an Activision. I think that was an Activision decision. But uh, I just don't understand understand how this could be an Activision idea. Like, where do they think that mobile would do better when they have a company like Blizzard? You, do you see what I'm saying? It's like because they don't know they don't know what to do with them because they're all about making money. Where could we make? Where, where could we make a game that we can make money off of? Well, the Diablo title makes all this bullshit. Like, they're stupid, man. It is stupid. Oh, excuse me. I feel bad for the families of Blizzard. And I really hope that everything gets better with them. Um, you know, I don't, I don't mean to sit here and tell you what to do. And God knows what kind of pressure you guys are on under Activision. But, I mean, I really do hope you pull through because you are part of gaining history. I mean, do you you know originally Overwatch was supposed to be WoW too, right? And then they just decided no, to go. They just decided to take the characters and make a shooter. I uh, it's really yeah. All the characters were originally supposed to be. I don't think it was a WoW too, but it was supposed to be a another MMO MMO. And and they just scrapped it and and did Overwatch, and. I feel that 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 would have. But been- dude, if they were the like, you're sitting there and you're saying that they need to. Um, you're sitting there and you're saying that they need to do something new because they're not keeping up with the times. They're, dude. If they were their own singular company, right? Between the money that they make from Overwatch. The money that they made from Hearthstone and the money that they were still making from WoW, you're talking about a company that would still be successful. Yes. You really are. I, but I, you the, really are. I really do think the you're numbers talking, are down for WoW, though. The numbers are down. People are leaving. That's, look, look. But once again, dude, even if the numbers are down, you're talking about you don't need a large department constantly banging out content for a while. They still make content for Diablo 2 for fuck's sake. Bro. They do. Bro, but and, I and, mean, but, they, WoW but, is so huge, you need a big department to be maintaining it. It's a dude, constant it's a, maintenance to keep that, that fucking world alive. But... You're talking about a a world that's 15 years old. It's not like it's but it's they running. Sc- off they of- have to keep that shit alive, bro. They got to keep it alive, but it's not running. You're not running. Goddamn. I'm trying to think of. A I know what you're MMO. saying. You, this- like like you're you're not running anything that that's out of this world impossible to run. I run in a game that's 15 years old. You're running a game that has that- millions of people playing at the same time. Yes, you do. It's not. It's, it's not about yeah, the graphics really, in the, the the old game. It's the amount of content, the amount of sh- just just so much going on. And wow, so right? But dude, much. You're, you're still you're still making money off of it. You're still making a profit off of it because you don't have to create anything new. Do you get what I'm saying? You're not creating something fresh from the ground up. You're just adding to it. But so if you don't in, add anything new, people will leave though. Once again, though, you're not adding anything new. Like, you're just creating content that is specifically for that processor. Do you get what I'm saying? I do. You're, you're, it, it, I, it, it, you're not like Grand Theft Auto V. They just made a brand new fucking car for the online mode. They just created a brand new car. How old is Grand Theft Auto? It's coming up on five years old. Five years old, Frank. Do you think Grand and, Theft Auto is going to be popular in 13? 30- 13? How old is this fucking game? Uh, no. Listen, but you're missing the point. You're missing the point. You And this is the reason why you... Like, you are the CEO of Activision right now. You're not looking at it 
from the CEO of a blizzard. Because if I was the CEO of a, a blizzard, and that was it. I ran Diablo. I ran World of Warcraft. I ran Overwatch. I ran Starcraft. That's it. That's my entire library. Two of those games need to have a small team working on it to keep it running. Outside of that, those things are still bringing in revenue, which is still keeping my employees employed, which is still putting food on the table. And we're a solid company. While those two little teams, we are working on the next great game. Be it. Diablo but if you 4, keep on that mentality, it, you're not going to have WoW around because people are leaving WoW. If you keep that mentality people, where, oh, they're not going to go, I'm right. making money, I'm keeping food uh, in the... And one day hey, you wake up dude, and you have nobody you, left in you, your game. You ride it until it's done, man. You ride it until but it's I done. But I think they have ridden it till it's done. Dude, there's still 3 million people. Dude. It, but if doing they, the numbers there's 3 right million now, people right now 3 million people Frank but you need to find out how much it's costing people. to keep this fucking world alive 1499 you're thinking of, a month you're thinking of 14, times that by 12 you're thinking Dude, of the money listen, they make but you're not thinking of the money they waste you're not thinking do you have those numbers those numbers do you have right the now? numbers of how much money they spend on keeping while I have around. No idea. So then how there's could you no possibly listen, think that just because somebody's paying fourteen ninety nine, it's all good when they're losing people? Three million people at fourteen ninety nine per month. You total out to five hundred thirty nine million six hundred and forty dollars annually. And you don't think that maybe that game costs about Three hundred million to be taken care of. That song's only available for Google Play Music. I don't even know why Google's talking right now. Google, okay, Google, turn off. Oh my God! I don't know where that was, and I'm keeping that in the podcast. <laughs> okay, so here's my question for you. You good? Yeah. How many engineers would it take to keep that game running? I take don't know. Yes. I don't know. I can't make give you a, that number. Make a make a hypothesis. Make a hypothesis. Engineers? There's no engineers for that game. How many people are uh, you talking about computer engineers? I don't think it works like yeah, that. Yeah, programmers. What I'm about. Whatever. To keep How a many? fucking three million. A three How million many? people, I would say you need How at many? least a thousand people. A thousand programmers. A thousand people. Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Bro, there's a lot of people playing at the same time. Things that just could be a domino effect of shit in the programming world. How much does... Bl- Blizzard has Blizzard has 2,622 employees. So you're going to say half of that team is working on that game. I think so. Absolutely. It's the only game that is alive within itself. Absolutely. Yes, I 100% they put all the investment on that fucking... You're telling me you're putting all your investment in that game. You're the one who just said it. $14, $14.99 a month. $100. So even... Okay, so even with that, I gave you a thousand people, right? A thousand people. Uh huh. They make about a hundred thousand a year. Because they're not getting fifty. With a hundred, they're not getting a five. No, I, I put in seventy. It would it would cost a hundred million dollars. So you're still netting four hundred sixty million dollars net profit, based off those numbers. I just gave you every every one of those one thousand people make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. So you're still netting over four hundred million. Okay, and to keep servers alive, you have to pay a fee for that too. So I can't. Like once like again, I, dude. I, like you, your your argument, your argument is 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 a moot point because you want to talk about Fortnite 
makes over two billion dollars. A game that's 15 years old with 3 million people playing it still makes an eighth of what that does, if not more. Mm. So it, it, your, your, your argument is not sound. Because if I was a smaller Blizzard company, and we're just talking about what World of Warcraft does. We're not even talking about what Overwatch would do. Which Overwatch plus uh, the mobile Hearthstone made over two billion dollars last year. Hearthstone made two million dollars on what? Two billion. Between all the microtransactions that were made through Blizzard, made over two billion dollars last year. Frank, if they're cutting stuff on Blizzard, there has to be. Why? Why wouldn't they cut back on? Because of what of happened with Destiny. Because of what happened with Destiny. They lost so much money on Destiny. And so the CEO, because his ass makes so much fucking money, he's fucking over their company. He's a disgusting human being. How many did you so say? So you can't like... Say again. Where did you get this number, the three million? Because this here, I'm looking up here online that the Blizzard doesn't like to let anybody know how many people are currently playing. Wow. They keep Say it. Again? They keep Blizzard keeps this hush hush of how many people are playing. Wow. So where are you getting this subscription information? Um, I, I because the numbers are hush hush. I went to several different sites and through the through everything that I gathered. Because I had the number, I, dude. Somebody said that over eight eight million people still play the game, and then I've seen things as little as two million people still play the game. So I, I, dude, I downsized the number to downplay the number. So I went with three million people worldwide still play World of Warcraft. I don't know, man. If they don't want to give out numbers, there's got to be a reason. They never really gave out numbers. <laughs> but. 2015 to 2023, they say that it should go down. Oh, my God. In 2015, it was 5 million. 2016 was 5 million. This is... And they... I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess you're right. But, I mean, first of all, we don't... We, we've talked about this is they're not going to cut from the gaming side of Blizzard. They already said it in the article. They're just going to cut from... From, you know, the the shit, the secretaries, the fucking janitor, the... If that's what you think. They're not going to let go of the fucking engineers. Are you kidding me? Even if they do, those guys are going to be just fine. Because they're fucking engineers for one of the greatest video game companies of all time. They'll get jobs so fast everywhere else. Final Fantasy will pick them up in a heartbeat. And I still think Final Fantasy is a thousand times better than WoW. And I played them both. So fuck it. Yeah, Activision wants to fire them. Um, trust me, there will be other companies that will pick them up in a heartbeat. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it could be that they're just trying to fade out Blizzard. I, I doubt it. God damn it, we've been talking about this too much. All right, let's move to the... the I mean, do we have time for this? Or should we talk and save it for the next one? I mean... <laughs> It's up to you. <coughs> we got to talk about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just talk about it. All right. So we're going to talk about this. Uh, we should call this segment something new. I don't know what. Uh, Talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. And then something comes out that goes, let's talk about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to talk about the Tom Clancy Division 2 beta, which Frank got me to pre-order the game in order to play it. Uh, Frank got it for the PS4, and I got it for the the uh, PC. So you start first. It's awesome. <laughs> That's it? That's what you're going to give me? 
I mean, it's it's what I it's what I expected. Um, it's more of the same, just different. It, it it plays the same. It has a lot of the same feels. Um, cover fire, loot, gear, all that fun stuff. Um, but they just expanded on the game. I mean, you unlock safe posts. You help people out. They in return help you out. They help clear out the area, and you just continue to take back Washington D.C. Um, I've played for about two, three hours now. I honestly, I've not found any kind of attachment weapon for my weapons. All my guns are still very bare bones. You have to unlock the. You have to unlock. I'm. Yeah, I'm guessing you have to unlock have the attachments because you I have, have to unlock the special the, the the ability to be able to mod your 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 weapon. It, this is a new thing they're doing, I guess, where you get the tokens, the the division tokens. I guess and I don't know. This I, like game, I said, with, the, with this division tokens, you're able to go back to your settlement, or actually, you can't even do your settlement. It's you have to go back to the. Uh, the White House, the main hub, the main yeah. hub, and that's where you're able to, to like unlock different things, like your specials. But also, one of the specials or one of the abilities would be to mod, which would be you can mod the, the vision, the the eyesight, you can the handle, the type of bullets, all that. It all has to be unlocked. So it is different from the original. In that aspect, go ahead. You were saying. Um, what else? Um, huh. okay, well, you think about it. I, I just have to say that I am absolutely 100% satisfied the fact that it's no longer snow. It, fe- they say it's summer, but it feels like it's nice, it's a nice spring, and it's basically because it's six months after the original division, and basically. If you abandon a city for so long, or not abandon, but you don't take care of it, eventually nature takes over. And that's what I'm seeing. There's grass everywhere. There's grass coming out of the cracks in in the, the streets. Uh, there's like puddles, not puddles, but like from like pipes that, that burst open. So now there's like specific like leaks and floods all over that were never fixed. All this stuff is mind-boggling how much they were able to put in the division when i see these type of details i'm i'm it makes me want to investigate the city not only does it make me want to investigate but the one thing that they seen which is different from the first one was is there were a lot of specific areas that you couldn't get to and like everything was locked you couldn't go through buildings there were certain buildings but not a lot of them They've added a lot of open areas or open holes in the buildings and stuff that you can. There's a lot more to look for. There's a lot of hidden passages, a lot of hidden windows, a lot of hidden doors, a lot of hidden basements, a lot of hidden fucking parking lots. There's it it finally feels like a real city. There's I mean, this game. If 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 they put the love that they put on the original division, this game could be around for another ten years. But I mean, this is Ubisoft, and one thing that Ubisoft Ubisoft does well is that they take care of their games. And seeing what they did, just playing it overall, I really wish that this would have been more of an expansion for the original. But I get it. I get why they made a new one. I really do hope that throughout the year they decide to do seasons rather than just keeping everything in the summer. I think that'd be a unique aspect to the game. Um, Listen, I want New York back. I'm a, I'll tell you that. I want a DLC, to go back to a, New York. A DLC where it takes you back to New York six months after Division 1. See what New York looks like now. It's gonna be amazing. Just the, yeah. the fucking cities all torn up and shit. Um, 
what was he gonna say? Uh, the bullet sponging gone. I love it. Now when I shoot a character, it reacts. If I shoot him in the arm, if I shoot him in the head, it's 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 reactions that are more lifelike. And and d- before did it show numbers when you shot them? Yeah, they don't have the numbers yeah. anymore. I don't. I don't know. And uh, that might be something you could turn on and or off. I don't want them. This makes it look. I mean, I mean, it's okay. You can leave me the 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 health bar, but but we talked about this where you, I fought a boss and you can actually shoot pieces of the armor off and then focus on that area that you've taken the armor off and you can hurt them way worse. Uh, the drone, you have a drone now where you can control it. You can do missiles or it could be, a, uh, I forgot, it, it does something else. And then the, uh, I always say that it's wrong. What, what's that machine that shoots for you? Uh, the one that you throw and it starts shooting at people, the uh, the turret. Now the turret, yes. the turret can be a sniper, which is fantastic because you can put it up on a high area and then it can snipe for you. So everything they're doing here looks like they're you can eliminate the fact that you can play with other people. The uh, oh, one more thing, Frank. Yeah, they have the flare, so you can ask for help. And basically, with a flare, other division characters, people who are playing, could join your game and they can help you finish a specific level if it's too overwhelming for you. But if they don't, the CPU shows up in groups to help you out. Yes. Which I think is awesome because maybe the C. Not that I'm saying the CPU is amazing, but it distracts and it helps. So the flare gun is a great, great new feature. I really like it. Now you can connect into a, somebody else's game really fast. I just wish it was a lot easier to get out of their fucking game. <laughs> That's still tough to do. It's still a pain in the ass to get out. You can easily join, but it's such a pain to get out. I wish I could just... Like, if I join to help them out in a mission, once the mission's done... Pop up a question that says, "Do you want us to stay in the same uh, with the same person, or do you want to leave?" And then you fucking leave, and th- that would be it. Hopefully, they'll add that in the in the last game and the final version of the game. Oh, uh, I know. I I know there's something else that I saw that was amazing. Um, The oh fuck man, I had it and I lost it. Do you have anything else, dude? It's just like I said, it's more of the it's same. It's more of the same. Um, yeah, I agree. This is what I say. If you if you didn't like the first one, stay, stay away. away. Stay, like the first stay one, away from Tom Clancy's Division Two. Because it's not the. It's, and if you like the first one, this one's totally for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you. You couldn't have said it perfect. Just stay. Stay. Stay with it, get it, because it's it's oh man, I can't believe that all your shit. You said that the medallions carry over, the masks. Some things carrying over. I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going to carry over. Well, before we close off, um, you can get the beta basically by pre-ordering the the Tom Clancy, um, and it ends. <laughs> <laughs> today, February tenth. No. Oh yeah, today's today. the last day. <laughs> After that, you're gonna have to wait till March thirteenth. Which I really, God, I, re- I really want to play this game so bad. Especially since February now doesn't look like there's too much to play. They got the Far Cry, which I'm not gonna buy. No, and then they got uh Metro. Are you going to at least rent Metro so we can talk about it? No. Damn. No. So you're not going to get anything? I didn't like it. No. So you didn't like it? You haven't even played it. I didn't like the other one. Oh, do you play the original Metro? I played the second one. It's like a 10-year-old game. Ah. Yeah. All right. It's just... 
it's just not for me. What about when? When is a uh, rage coming out? April. Something I will say though, man. Seeing videos of rage, I am quasi excited for that one. So didn't they get that one? I'm definitely gonna rent. Didn't they use? The um, but I feel I feel like Rage Two will be a, a Black Friday purchase for me. Didn't Rage Two? It's not something that that I need to get. Don't the creators of Mad Max are in Rage Two? Yeah, but they they even said like the people who played the game. They said it feels like you had two different groups working. On um, working on this game. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Yes, no, it makes sense. Okay, anything else? That's it. Okay, guys, this is gonna be it for the show. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, you can guys can follow us at Apple on iTunes. You can also follow us on Google. Play, but I would recommend to go to the Google Podcast, which is an app that's separate and updates a lot faster, and it's way better than Google Play. We're also on Stitcher, and uh, don't forget, you can also catch us on Spotify. Spotify is pretty big, and you can subscribe and listen to all our episodes and hear us talk garbage about video games all day. Uh, hey, hey, I really appreciate everything, and uh, thank you so much, guys, and take care. Love, peace, happiness.